Chasing billfish is one of the most exciting things you can do on the water. Catch and release, as well as tag and release, is now commonplace in the billfishing community, which always makes maintaining optimal post-release survival a hot topic. Fortunately, there are five easy ways to increase the chances that your billfish will survive upon release. Use circle hooks instead of J-hooks. Circle hooks, when fishing with live and dead bait, have a greater chance of hooking into the corner of the billfish's mouth. J-hooks, on the other hand, often fail to embed into the fish's lip and instead are ingested, hooking into their internal organs. This is called getting gut hooked. Gut hooking severely, often mortally, damages the fish's internal organs. However, this is mitigated when J-hooks are used with artificial baits. Decrease your fight time. The longer the fish spends fighting your line, the more exhausted it can become. The shorter you can make your fight time, the better. You can decrease your fight time by using appropriately weighted line for the fish you're targeting. A heavier weight line will make it easier to reel a billfish in, thus decreasing fight time. Keep the fish in the water. The most important way to maximize post-release survival of billfish is to keep the fish in the water. A billfish that has been reeled in is exhausted. Removing it from the water makes it incapable of breathing and regaining the energy it needs to survive. Think of it like running a marathon and then being held underwater. Additionally, the weight of gravity in the air is much greater than in the water. Because fish are not built for that much weight, holding it in the air crushes and can severely damage its internal organs. Lastly, billfish also have a protective slime layer on their skin that is damaged when removed from the water. Remove the hook instead of cutting the leader. If it is safe to do so for both the crew and the fish, removing the hook from the fish's mouth is optimal over cutting the leader before release. Simply cutting the leader leaves the hook in the mouth of the fish, which keeps the wound open and at risk of infection. If it is not safe to remove the hook itself, cut the leader as close to the hook as possible. Remember to leave the fish in the water during this entire process to minimize undue stress just before release. Revive the fish before release. To help your billfish recover from the exhaustion of the fight, idle the boat forward while holding the bill of the fish. Towing the fish forward like this forces water through its gills, delivering oxygen to the fish's bloodstream. When you feel the fish begin to wriggle as it regains its strength, you can release the bill and watch the fish swim away. This can take several minutes or only a few moments. Following these five rules helps ensure the billfish you release survive to fight another day. For more information on billfish conservation, visit us at www.billfish.org.